For today's video, we're going to open up 20 pirate llamas because I want to see everything you can get from them. First thing I should point out is that the sci-fi llamas are currently available and you can purchase up to a total of five of them. And we actually need that Plasmatron 9000 for our collection book. So we're going to go ahead and open up this one and see what we get in the next one. But yeah, if you're missing some sci-fi weapons, you can try opening up those sci-fi llamas. And I'm not sure how long they're going to be available. But yeah, there's the perks that came on our Plasmatron 9000. You can get sci-fi heroes from them as well. Another thing I wanted to point out is that in this week's home base status report, they showed a picture of the steampunk weapons when talking about the pirate llamas. So I assumed they were going to have steampunk weapons, but when we opened up a couple during last night's stream, I noticed that we were getting flintlock weapons. So yeah, I'm not sure why they showed a picture of the steampunk weapons, but just wanted to clarify that you're going to get flintlock weapons from the pirate llamas. And when it comes to flintlock weapons, I would say the bundle bus is probably the best flintlock weapon. And the Jack's Revenge is like the best pistol when it comes to damage per shot. The Corsair Sword is also really good. Dragoon's really good for impact. And Obetsi and Spyglass are also really good snipers. And again, you should also be able to get the Pirate Heroes, but I'm not entirely sure if these two are going to be available. So let's go ahead and open up the Llamas and see what we get. And we're going to open these up one at a time. For those who are wondering how I got so many tickets so fast, I pretty much got all of them from doing the dungeon quest. There were a couple dungeons where we got almost 2,000 tickets. And I actually don't want to retire the pirate heroes that we get because I want to see everything that we get at the end. But with this first one, we got Crossbones Barrett, who is a hero I use often. So you're going to want to keep an eye out for him. But yes, right now, I think dungeons are going to be one of the best ways to farm tickets as well as gold. I was able to get almost 10,000 gold and over 10,000 tickets within a matter of hours. So that's how I got enough for 20 pirate llamas. All right, so with this one, we got a Corsair sword and there are the perks that came with ours. Anyways, when it comes to the flintlock weapons, we have reviewed most of them already. I'll leave a link to all of those flintlock weapon reviews in the description. And we've also reviewed most of the pirate heroes and I'll leave a link to those reviews in the description as well. And we just got another Dragoon. Again, one of the best shotguns when it comes to impact. But yeah, here's the perks that came with our Dragoon. And for those who don't know, I do already own all of the pirate heroes as well as all of the flintlock weapons. The main thing I wanted to do was see if we can get Blakebeard the Blackhearted from these pirate llamas. And with this one, we got a Duelist, which is one of the weapons I haven't reviewed yet. But there are the perks that came with our duelist. Another thing I wanted to do was to see if there's any other mythics that we could possibly get from these llamas. Because with the lunar llamas, you were able to get, I believe, Bladestorm Enforcer as well as Field Agent Rio. So I also kind of want to see if we can get some other mythics from these pirate llamas. Let's go ahead and choose Jack's Revenge. I already own both of them, so it don't really matter. But yeah, here are the perks that came with it. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up another one. But yeah, speaking of farming tickets, we actually found a really good way to farm adventure tickets while doing dungeons. To be specific, it's going to be farming the Inferno dungeon. We found a way to complete it within like five minutes. So if y'all would like us to explain how to do that ticket farm, let me know in the comments below. And with this one, we got another privateer hype who I don't need, but we're going to go ahead and keep her so we can take a look at all of the pirate heroes that we get at the end. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up another one. I'm also kind of curious to see if we can get the bundle bus because that's probably the best flintlock weapon overall. And we got another Jack's Revenge and there are the perks that came with it. But yeah, with the new dungeon ticket farm, you should be able to get around four to 500 tickets every five minutes if you're able to destroy the urns while doing the Inferno dungeon. Also, when it comes to sci-fi weapons, I'm a huge fan of the Deatomizer. The Pulsar 9000 is also really good. And the Astro Bat and Plasmatron 9000 is pretty fun. They did nerf the Gamatron recently, but just wanted to point that out for those who were interested in the sci-fi llamas. And with this one, we got another Crossbones Barret. Hopefully we can get Blakebeard or Hybrid. So far, we haven't gotten them yet. We also haven't gotten Bundle Bus. As a matter of fact, let me know in the comments what you were able to get from your pirate llamas. Oh, okay. So with this one, we got a copper sir hoodie and this is another one that we haven't reviewed yet as a matter of fact i think the hoodie and the duelist are the only flintlock weapons we haven't reviewed all right so we're like halfway through we still haven't gotten blake beard we haven't gotten the bundle bus we haven't gotten hybrid or the walloper 
There's also a couple pirate heroes we haven't gotten yet, but we did get another Sir Hootie, and here are the perks that came with it. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to get everything. So be sure to let us know what you all were able to get from your pirate llamas. That way we'll all know what you can get from them. Let's see, with this one we got, oh, we got to choose, okay. Oh, you can't get Buccaneer Jonesy. Don't really use Buccaneer Jonesy that often. And I also don't use Swashbuckle or Kill Hall that often either. Because you have to switch between your pistol and swords in order to take advantage of their perks. Let's see what we get from this one. An Epic Survivor. And we're going to have to choose between... Okay, we've already gotten both of those. So that one doesn't really help us. But yeah, here's the perks that came with our Dragoon. I don't think we've reviewed either of those heroes. I know we reviewed Privateer Hype and Crossbones Barrett. But I didn't bother reviewing them because their commander perk is pretty straightforward. Uh, deal damage with the sword, it increases your pistol damage and vice versa. So I didn't really feel the need to review them last time, but I mean if y'all would like us to review them then let me know in the comments below. But yeah, with this one we got another spyglass. We get some stuff we haven't gotten yet, please. Also I do plan on streaming on Twitch later this evening, so if y'all aren't doing anything be sure to stop by and hang out with us. Uh, with this one we got another fishing hook and that's another weapon we've already gotten we still haven't gotten the bundle bus or the bowler or the walloper so i do want to see if we can get those hopefully we can get them to drop before we're done here and got another duelist okay that didn't help there are the perks that came with it though but yeah i think we may either stream some more dungeons or we may hop on operations if we get a lot of people who want to join us because you can have bigger parties in Battle Royale. But yeah, we'll, we'll try to stream on Twitch later tonight. Like always, I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the description. With this one, we got another Crossbones Barrett. So again, we still haven't gotten Hybrid. We still haven't gotten Blakeheart. We also haven't gotten the Bowler, Bundle Bus. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, the Walloper. Hopefully we can get those to drop here. Let's see. Another spike. Oh my goodness. All right, we only got three left. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you were able to get any of those weapons. We also didn't get Swashbuckler Kill Hall either, but I'm pretty sure you can get her. Let's see what we get. Another fishing hook. Oh my goodness. I don't think we got Old Betsy either, but that's another one I'm pretty sure you can get from the Pirate Llama. So, let me know if you all are able to get any of those weapons. Because after 20 llamas, we weren't able to get any of them. But right here, we got another dragoon. And this is our last one. So yeah, let me know what you all were able to get from your pirate llamas in the comments below. And we got another fishing hook. And there's the perks that came with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the heroes that we got. So yeah, we were able to get all of them except Swashbuckler, Kill Hall, Blakebeard, and Hybrid. We got the Corsair, Dragoon, Duelist, Fishing Hook, Jack's Revenge, Sir Hootie, Spyglass, and those are all of the flintlock weapons that we could get from the Pirate Llamas. One thing I forgot to do earlier was check and see if they tell us if they're available in the collection book. So first let's start off with the heroes. And oh, it does. Okay, so the only hero we couldn't get was Swashbuckler Kill Hall, but it does say she could be found in Pirate Llama Pinatas. Let's check out Blakebeard. This one says it can be earned through the Yar event quest line. So I don't know if you can get that one from the llamas. And hybrid doesn't say anything. So you will be able to get kill haul from the pirate llamas. Not sure about these two still. And let's see what it says when it comes to weapons. Okay, all of these say it's not available for research. So I don't think this actually helps. This one says it can be bought from the item store during the Yar event, not available to research. That says the same thing. So yeah, the collection book doesn't really tell us when it comes to weapons. So after 20 llamas, we weren't able to get Blakebeard hybrid, and we also weren't able to get Swashbuckler kill haul, but I'm pretty sure she is in the pirate llama. And when it comes to flintlock weapons, we weren't able to get old Betsy, which I'm pretty sure is in the Pirate Llama. We also weren't able to get the Bundle Bus or the Bowler. And I'm not sure if those are available or not. So let us know if you all were able to get those. And we also couldn't get the Walloper to drop. But we were able to get everything else. But yeah, let me know in the comments, would y'all like us to review Sir Hootie or the Duelist Pistol? Or would y'all like us to review the new Founders weapons? 
And if so, which one would y'all like us to review first? But yeah, that sums up everything I wanted to go over for this one. Just wanted to see what we could get from our first 20 pirate llamas. Hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.